morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements in my practice where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body. You are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 30 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle. But what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis, and while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we are here for you. We welcome your calls on the bright side, 844-236-6010 is our number. That's 844-236-6010. If you have questions about the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, something you may have read about or heard about in the news or from a friend or on the Internet, we can help you make sense of this wild world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation and ingredients and formulations. Our number, 844-236-6010 on the bright side. Of course, if you have a success story you'd like to share, or if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the program, please head over to brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. You can order products right off the website, or you can call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. If you want to check out our Truth Skin Health products, including our Truth Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Balm, Truth Serum, and Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, all made with only active and functional ingredients because you shouldn't have to pay for emulsifiers and preservatives and fragrances and silicone and wax and water and stuff that your skin doesn't need or doesn't want. That's why I developed my Truth Skin Health products, and that's why I call my products the truth, because the truth is you're getting ripped off, folks. If you're buying ordinary skin health products or skincare products, you're getting abused, and I know this good and well from personal experience because I worked for companies that involved bookkeepers and accountants and marketers and uh, people who could care less about your skin or who uh, knew, didn't know anything about skin. And they're in the business because of the intense profit margins there are in selling water and in selling wax and in selling emulsifiers and preservatives. It should be infuriating to anybody who's spending money on a, a, a skincare product, moisturizer, anti-aging product. It should be infuriating that you're paying for 90 to 95, up to 98% baloney, crapola, nothing, not to mention potential toxins. True Skin Health products made with only active and functional ingredients. You only use a drop or two of our True Serum. You only use pinhead amounts of our Retinol 5% Gel, Truth Omega-6 Healing Cream, and Truth Balm. And you get instant results, and you get long-term results. And you can read our testimonials up at truthtreatments.com to check it out. Truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side, friends. Once again, we are on the air helping clear up the crazy world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. We've been talking about sugars and the ketogenic diet and fiber. I am really, uh, you probably know this, but I am really big on the ketogenic diet. The ultimate way to eat. I just finished a video yesterday with my friend Amanda Rideout. I should be up, um, hopefully, uh, on Amanda's channel. And if you're interested, by the way, in getting our YouTube, uh, getting notifications of our YouTube videos, please send me a note to Ben at KSCO.com, and we'll get you on the list. This is a much more extensive video that we put together. It's about 45 minutes. We'll break it up into parts, into smaller pieces. Uh, but it was about 45 minutes of a lot of good information about the ketogenic diet. Of course, we've been talking about a lot of the stuff here on this program. Last few days, we've been talking about sugars, which 
well, you know, doesn't seem like they'd be ketogenic because, the, of course, the ketogenic diet is low carb. But via the fiber connection, because fiber is made up of sugar, basically, little chunks of sugar, there's a really important relationship between what I call essential sugars or, or, or nutritional sugars, I should say, uh, and the ketogenic diet. Nutritional sugars or essential sugars are, are very important components of, of building blocks of fiber can be, I should say, building blocks of fiber. We're going to talk about one really neat one, uh, one really neat building block sugar that makes up a fiber that's got tremendous, or I should say a long chain sugar that's got tremendous health benefits. We'll do that in a couple of days here. Meantime, I want to continue talking about NAG, N-A-G, N-acetyl glucosamine, which is a wound healing sugar and a very effective one at that. Technically speaking, it's one of the eight essential sugars, like mannose, which we talked about a couple of days ago, like glucose, which is an essential sugar. Even though glucose gets a bad rap, it is absolutely essential and maybe one of the one of the uh, uh, one of the most important biochemicals in the body, arguably the most important biochemical in the body. We all get plenty of glucose, that's for sure, because we're all eating table sugar, which is 50% glucose. Table sugar is 50% glucose and 50% fructose, fruit sugar. Does that surprise anybody that table sugar is 50% fructose? Well, it is. That's a lot of fructose. Fructose, by the way, is a problem too. Fructose has to be converted into glucose so it can be used. And guess what organ does all the converting? The liver. And it could very well be that our excess ingestion of sucrose as well as fructose in, in the form of corn syrup has a lot to do with the fact that one out of three Americans has liver disease. Can you imagine this? A hundred million Americans have liver disease. What the heck? That's amazing. The liver is beyond description in terms of its importance to the body. Ancient people actually thought the liver ran the body, which a case could be made that it does, considering it processes fats and it processes sugars and it processes hormones and it processes poisons and it processes amino acids and there's hundreds 500 or so different chemical reactions that are performed by the liver and that means if you are one of the 100 million americans dealing with fatty liver disease all of these processes are going to be compromised anyway the third essential sugar is nag love this stuff shorthand for N-acetylglucosamine, NAG, which is basically a combination of the well-known sugar-like substance, I suppose, called glucosamine. Most folks know about glucosamine if they have arthritis, because that's how it's marketed as an anti-arthritic, anti-inflammatory substance, glucosamine is, but it's way more than that. Glucosamine being important for all healing, and N-acetylglucosamine, which is a type of glucosamine, is even more important. n acetyl simply means a little a little piece of vinegar is stuck onto the glucosamine acetyl when you hear that word acetyl like n acetyl cysteine some of you may have heard of that which i love by the way nac nac is very important for the liver i got uh, my blemish repair complex will be out here in a couple hopefully hopefully next week certainly within the next two weeks but hopefully next week and that features nac which is an awesome supplement for acne as well as for the liver as well as for detoxification, especially detoxing alcohol or detoxing drugs. NAG is similar in the sense that it has a little piece of acetyl attached to the glucosamine. Acetyl is uh, the active ingredient in vinegar. Vinegar is 5% acetic acid, and that basically is what acetyl is. And acetyl glucosamine is like a little piece of vinegar stuck onto your glucosamine, and that makes it extra healing. That makes it extra anti-inflammatory. In fact, NAG is probably the most healing of all the essential sugars and the most anti-inflammatory of all the essential sugars. In fact, I would go as far as, uh, as far as to say that NAG is one of the most healing and anti-inflammatory supplements of all supplements that you can buy. If you're interested in healing, if you're interested in growing tissue, and you don't have to have an injury, and you don't have to be wounded or traumatized in order to benefit from healing because anti-aging is healing. They're the same process. An anti-aging product should be a healing product. You should be able to use your anti-aging topical skincare product, by the way, on a wound, on a cut, and it should help heal the wound or cut. If you can't put your wrinkle cream on a wound or cut and, and get healing, that's a wrinkle cream that isn't working, no matter what the celebrity model tells you. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We'll be back on the bright side right after this. Don't 
right, we're back on the bright side. I am Pharmacist Ben. If you are going to be in the Tulsa, Oklahoma area on September the 27th, that is this coming Tuesday, I'll be doing a talk at the Wyndham Hotel on 41st Street in Tulsa. Hope to see you there. Start around 6.30ish or so. And I usually talk for two, a couple hours anyway, sometimes more usually about two, two, two and a half hours. And it's a lot of stuff that I don't get to talk about on this radio program. Uh, a lot of basic stuff, a lot of, a lot of in-depth stuff about the basic stuff. I like to go into the, the meat and potatoes of what I call the bright side philosophy. It's things we touch upon on this program, but not with the kind of depth that I get to do when I, when I talk to you, when I do my presentations, which I've been doing now for over 20 years. I love doing them. Um, I'll be at, uh, the Wyndham Hotel on 41st Street in Tulsa on the 27th of September. I'll be in Phoenix next month uh, doing a talk for my friend Melissa Gallaty on Monday, October 10th and 11th and 12th. We'll be uh, speaking all throughout the Phoenix area for three days. So if you're in Tempe or, uh, or uh, Phoenix or any of those little side cities that they got. Phoenix seems to have a whole bunch of side cities. Uh, you might want to check that out October 10th, 11th and 12th. All right, our number today, 844-236-6010. We're talking about N-acetyl glucosamine, one of our essential nutrients, essential sugar nutrients, essential glyconutrients. This completely gentle and completely non-toxic stuff is not only incredibly healing and incredibly regenerating, it's also a wonderful anti-inflammatory and it suppresses the production of inflammatory cells, specifically inflammatory cells that are associated with autoimmune diseases. According to an article uh, published in September 2011 in the Journal of Biological Chemistry, NAG acts to suppress the growth of what are called T cells, T inflammatory cells, which are uh, the, the major direct cause of the distress associated with immunity. Now, of course, autoimmunity. Of course, autoimmune diseases always, always, always involve something getting into the blood that shouldn't be usually food, usually through a leaky gut. But the immediate cause of the inflammation and the distress and the pain and the misery associated with autoimmunity involves T cells. T cells are major players in the immune system. And guess what? NAG acts to suppress the growth and the proliferation of these T cells. According to researchers from the University of California Irvine Center for Immunology, this has a special role to play when it comes to multiple sclerosis and type 1 diabetes. Reading from the article, this is uh, the words of Dr. Michael Demetrio, who is the lead researcher for the study. He says, quote, NAG shows the potential, or the study, I should say, quote, shows the potential of using a dietary supplement to treat autoimmune diseases, unquote. How insightful of Dr. Demetrio. He says that there's a potential to use a dietary supplement to treat autoimmune diseases. You hear that, you guys who are on prednisone? Nasty drug. One of the nastiest. You guys were on Humira, another nasty drug for autoimmune diseases. Heretofore, the main strategy for getting rid of, uh, for uh, eliminating the, the distress caused by autoimmune diseases is to shut down the immune system. This is the brain dead strategy of the medical model. Brain dead, quote me. If you're a doctor listening out there, what are you doing? Suppressing the immune system to make, uh, to disguise symptomology. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying there are not times to suppress the immune system, by the way. If you are absolutely miserable, suppressing the immune system certainly is going to give you symptomatic relief, as anybody who's gotten a cortisol injection knows. Yes, you do get symptomatic relief, but pain is there to tell you something. Pain is there to tell you that something's messed up. Do you really want to shut that down permanently or at least chronically? No, you don't. Not to mention the side effects that are associated with suppressing the immune system. On the other hand, at least according to Dr. Michael Demetrio and according to me, you can use nutrition and you can use dietary strategies to do the same thing. Dr. Demetrio goes on to say in this article, most importantly, we understand how this sugar-based supplement, i.e. NAG, or uh, N-acetylglucosamine, inhibits the cells that attack the body making metabolic therapy, and that is the fancy way of saying dietary therapy or nutritional therapy, making metabolic therapy a rational approach to prevent or treat debilitating disease, unquote. Bravo, Dr. Michael Demetrio at the, journal, at the uh, University of California Irvine Center for Immunology. Congratulations. 
love to have this guy on the bright side so he can talk about this. And, and you know what? In fairness, the modern medical model, the younger folks are beginning to understand that what we're talking about here on the bright side, what I've been talking about for decades, what Dr. Wallach has been talking about for twice as long, and what savvy and intelligent consumers and patients have, been, have understood from t the beginning of time practically, you don't need drugs and you don't need doctors and you don't need the medical model to deal with the vast majority of chronic long-term degeneration diseases. In the case of NAG, we are talking about a food substance. We're talking about a substance that's found in food. Yes, it's a supplement and it's a great one, but it's basically a food component and it's completely non-toxic and it's over the counter. And you can get it in aloe and bone soup and cartilage containing products. We're talking about a little sugar molecule that requires no doctors, no prescriptions, no pharmacists, no insurance companies. And on top of all of that, it's incredibly cheap. You can get straight NAG supplements for pennies a dose, for less than a dime a dose. If you go on the internet, you can get 120 uh, NAG capsules, 700 milligram capsules for less than $12. That's, you, can you think of a drug? There are drugs that cost 10 times that am amount per pill. Per pill. You guys, the profit margin on prescription drugs is, is so staggering, you wouldn't even believe it. It, it can't even be computed with regular digits. It, it's like thousands upon thousands of percentage. You're talking about less than a penny a dose being sold for hundreds up to 800, sometimes $1,000 a dose in the case of chemotherapy. Think about this. A penny? to a thousand dollars. Well, what is that in terms of profit margin? A hundred thousand percent? This is, this is as, as evil and as twisted and as greedy as it is bizarre that anybody could think of selling a product for a hundred thousand percent markup. And this is what it is in the world of drugs. And this is why you, drug companies never go out of business. You ever hear of a drug company going bankrupt? You ever hear of a drug company not making a profit? Drug companies are the most profitable industry on the planet in terms of percentage because what they're doing is they're taking basically waste material, which is the, the raw material for drugs, fossil fuel waste mostly, sometimes it's an herb or a plant, and then they're tweaking it and manipulating it and pulling out the active ingredient, which is f uh, measured in the micrograms or the milligrams, occasionally in the grams, and then they're marking it up to this, these ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous uh, levels of uh, ridiculous costs or ridiculous price. You're talking pennies to up to thousands of dollars. Even generic drugs these days are ridiculously high cost. Anyway, for the University College School of Medicine in Vancouver, Canada, we learned that NAG can improve the symptoms of pediatric chronic inflammatory disease. This is something I know quite a bit about. I worked in the PEDS ICU unit at University Hospital as a pharmacist in the PEDS ICU, pediatric ICU, and neonatal ICU. These are some of the most heartbreaking places you could ever find yourself. Neonatal, meaning just born, and pediatric, meaning innocent little children in the intensive care unit with all of the accoutrements that you see with some old person laying in bed with the oxygen mask and the machines and the beeps and the, and the electrical equipment. It is so heartbreaking to see a baby like that or to see a ped pediatric uh, uh, patient like that. And I worked in PEDS ICU at University Hospital that specialized at University Hospital. We specialized in GI or gastrointestinal problems. So I know a lot about pe pediatric chronic inflammatory disease. All right, we'll finish up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. I am Pharmacist Ben. We're on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central, and 24-7 on our archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that one up. That's a really cool website, by the way. Peter, uh, I don't know if you're listening out there, Peter, but uh, he did a great job on that. Uh, and also, uh, that has all my, I've got all these different blogs and websites. I kind of grew my internet presence here organically. I didn't know it was going to, I didn't know it was going to grow. I just started posting things and uh, consequently, there's stuff all over uh, YouTube and, and blog posts and all kinds of stuff. And what Peter did, he comp compiled all the different blogs and, and websites that I've got and, and video sites that I've got all into one one website, benfuchsarchives.com. So you want to check that out. Also, uh, 
pharmacistben.com and criticalhealthnews.com. You can also order products off the websites. And of course, you can join the Bright Side Ben team off the websites as well. You can help me in my mission to educate the world about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. You yourself can change lives. We're not talking rocket science here, folks. That's one of the major principles of what I call the Bright Side philosophy is this is not rocket science. This is not technical. You don't need a nine, uh, eight, uh, eight years of college. You don't need a medical degree to understand these ideas. They're very simple. And once you understand them, you can tell other people. I hear people say, oh, well, you're not allowed to diagnose. And I have uh, people call me and say, well, I don't expect medical information from you. Why not? I I'm giving you information that's common sense. You know, I doctors don't own common sense. Doctors don't own biochemistry. Doctors don't own the logic of how the body works. Doctors own the stupidity of diagnosis. And when I say stupidity, I mean stupidity, at least from a healing perspective. Your diagnosis doesn't matter. This is one of the things I talk about in my presentations. Your diagnosis doesn't matter. Your diagnosis is irrelevant when it comes to healing, when it comes to reversing. There are no special diseases. The only people who want us to have special diseases are specialists because that's how they send their kids to college. That's how they become famous. That's how they elevate their personal egos and I'm not blaming you know I don't want to make I don't want to rip on doctors here too much but the idea that we need special diseases doesn't serve us when it comes to healing it only serves specialists special medicine and specialists and when was the last time a specialist made anybody better aside from hiding the symptoms see at the end of the day nobody has heart disease Nobody has lung disease. Nobody has brain disease. Nobody has joint disease. Nobody has digestive disease. What we have is heart cell disease. We have lung cell disease. We have brain cell disease. We have bone cell. We have joint cell. We have cell disease. All disease is cell disease. And the heart cells need exactly the same thing for the most part with maybe some slight tweaks as brain cells. There's the digestive cells. All the cells need this. All cells need the same thing. Now, yeah, heart cells may need a little bit more of the B complex and brain cells may need a little bit more fatty acids. But for the most part, all the cells are operating the same way. You know, when they do studies on cells, they use mouse cells. They, use, they can get a lot of information from a fruit fly cell. They can get information about how to heal the human body from the cell of a, a nematode, of an earthworm. Because the cells are the same, you guys. Listen, the cells are the same. It doesn't matter if it comes from an earthworm or it comes from a human brain. It's got a nucleus. It's got all the little components. Uh, I'm not even going to name them because they sound so overwhelming, but the endoplasmic reticulum and Golgi apparatus and these, these incredible substructures that live inside the cell. They're all the same, you guys. They're all the same, and they only need food, and they need oxygen, and they need a clean place to do their business. They don't need drugs, and there's nothing in the doctor's bag of tricks that can do anything for a cell except kill it, extract it, or poison it. Kill, extract, poison. That's our med medical model. Kill, extract, poison. And how the heck we got bamboozled into believing that has anything to do with health is beyond, uh, is beyond me. I can't understand it. If you can tell me how we think killing, extracting, and poisoning has anything to do with health and why we would deify the model that promotes that, please help me out on that. All right. Don't mean to be negative here, because really the human body is an amazing, amazing setup. That's really what the point is, is the human body, it's designed to heal. The bone is always stronger at the point of the break. Okay, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to Bill in Oregon. Welcome to the Bright Side. Good morning, Bill. Hello. What's up, Bill? Big Bill in Oregon. What's crack a on this Friday morning? Yes, sir, I hear you. Can you, can you hear me? All right, Bill. Uh, Bill cannot hear me, so I'm going to let you. I'm going to put you back on hold, Big Bill. And can you hear me? Say yes or no. Yeah, I can hear you. Okay, go ahead, Bill. You're on the air. Okay, I wanted to ask you a couple questions. Yes, sir. One, I want. One, I want to uh, just some ballpark figures on this ketogenic diet for protein, carbs, and fat. Okay, that's fair ballpark enough. Ballpark numbers. Ballpark numbers. Okay. Yeah. Now, what's your next question? The other one was. Uh, some people say about this cruciferous vegetables that you shouldn't be eating them. And, okay, uh, let's talk about both the subject. Gym, Let me I take let's talk. Gym, I'm sorry. Go ahead. And, I, 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 I mean. and I'm taking this dim, and I'm wondering if that is 
be a okay. problem with them. Let me tell you, those are two good questions, okay? Ketogenic diet, let me give you some how-tos real quickly. And by the way, send an email to ben at ksco.com, and we'll send you out the, the new ketogenic diet where I go into this. Here's some ballpark figures. Ketogenic okay. diet, you want roughly around 80%, we'll say, of your calories coming from fat. You want around uh, uh, 15 or so, 20, 15 to 20% of your calories coming from carbs, the remainder from protein. So let me break that down so it makes sense to us. All right? And this has to do with calories per gram. So uh, uh, for fats, fats have about 10, 9 really, but let's say 10 calories per gram, just ballpark it. Uh, so when we talk about a 1,500, let's say 2,000 calorie a day diet, that's generous. Most people should not be eating 2,000 calories a day, most of us. But let's say 2,000 calories a day. That means... Uh, uh, at 10% of your calories, 200 calories or so should come from carbohydrates, okay? 400 calories or so should come from protein. And then the remainder, if you're doing, doing 2,000 calories, the remainder will be 1,400 calories coming from fat, okay? So far, so good? I don't mean to get into too much math because I'm going to simplify here in a second. Okay? So you have 200 calories coming from carbohydrates. There's roughly, uh, for ballpark's sake, we'll say 5 uh, grams. There's actually less, but let's say 5 grams, uh, 5 calories per gram of sugar, carbohydrate. All right? So you're talking if there's 5 calories in a gram and you're getting 200 calories, right? That means, yeah. you, that, means that means you want, uh, let me do the math here real quick. You want 40 grams. Okay, 40 grams of carbs, 40 grams of carbs. That's about three tablespoons of carbs a day. That's the whole day, whole day. Three tablespoons, roughly, and I'm being very approximate here. Three tablespoons of carbohydrates a day. Double that for your protein, okay? Double that for your protein, six tablespoons. Again, these are ballparks, all right? Six tablespoons, good enough? And then maybe, uh, uh, say, six times that much. For your, for your fats, and these are all ballpark. So it may be 36 tablespoons of fat. You see the difference here? Let me do the math here. Actually, no, that's, that's a lot less because there's nine calories per gram. So let me divide that by four. Let's say about, that, that is way too much. I take that back because that would give you 360, you know, that would give you way too much. Six tablespoons coming from protein, okay? Three tablespoons coming from carbs, and then maybe 10 tablespoons or so coming from fats. You with me? So we're talking about 80 grams of protein. We're going to take a break, Bill. I'm going to, I'm going to do the math for you much more clearly when we come back. Okay? Hang on, Bill. We've got to take a break. That was very confusing. I apologize, you guys. But I'm going to clear it up when we come back from our break. i got to do my math here. All right. I'm Pharmacist Ben. 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back after this. Okay, we're back on the bright side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. We're talking to Bill in Oregon. Hey, Bill, you there, man? Yeah, man. All right, I'm not going to bore you with the details, but I just, I just did all the math. Okay, you ready? Okay. You're looking at two to three tablespoons full, okay, two to three tablespoons full of carbs a day. That's not a lot of carbs. You want to double that around four to six tablespoons fulls of protein a day. And this is all approximate. And around 10 to 11 tablespoons full of fat a day. This is based on a 2,000 calorie a day diet, which is a lot. I recommend 1,500 or even less. I was talking to Amanda on our video yesterday, and she's not, you know, she's not a, she doesn't have a tremendous amount of willpower. Like, you know, maybe she has some, but she doesn't have like, it's not like she's, she's uh, suffering. And she says she's under 15, 1,500 calories a day without any suffering easily. But I'm being generous. To, at 2,000 calories a day, 10 to 11 tablespoons full of fat, 2 to 3 tablespoons full of carbs, and 4 to 6 tablespoons full of protein, Okay. If you want to know the math, how I got it, send me an email. I'll let you know. All right. Now, as far as your second question on cruciferous vegetables go, there are the most medicinal, arguably, the most medicinal forms of vegetation. They include broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, kale, and their uh, uh, cauliflower, and they're incredibly powerful medicine. And I'm a big believer in using them. Some people will have a reaction, and they have, it's been said that it may have a goitrogenic effect. I'm not buying it. All right. If you really want to t 
take care of any of the so-called toxins, which are really medicines, steam them or heat, uh, steam your veggies, your cruciferous veggies, or heat them. But they're so That's powerful exactly. and they're so medicinal. If you have a thyroid problem, you've got bigger issues, bigger fish to fry than your broccoli. That's for sure. Uh, as far yeah. as DIM goes, DIM for the listeners is an anti-estrogenic compound that helps balance out or lower estrogen in the folks who are predisposed to high estrogen. And there's a whole other story there, uh, which I'm not going to get into. But if you're making a lot of estrogen, you have estrogen-dependent cancers. Or if you're a man and you're dealing with high estrogen, sometimes they'll prescribe or they'll suggest DIM. DIM was actually developed by a friend of mine who lives here in Boulder, Colorado. A physician, and I actually worked with DIM before it was even released. Um, Dr. Zellig came to me in my pharmacy, and he had me working with it and making products with it uh, years before it was released. So I, I have a lot of familiarity with diindoleal methane or DIM. Uh, you have to be the judge of whether it works or not. I haven't seen great results with DIM. There's another one called I3C, which is a little bit more broad spectrum. I haven't seen great results with that either. Eat your broccoli, eat your cauliflower. My opinion, just my opinion, save your money on the DIM and the I3C. My opinion. Okay? Selenium, by the way, is also anti-estrogenic, and that's a much more uh, important supplement than DIM or I3C. Eat your broccoli, take your selenium. Does that help you, Bill? Yeah, it helps, man. I take a lot of uh, brewer's yeast, too. So Brewer's yeast That's is the bomb. Awesome. That stuff's awesome. Yeah. All right. I'm going to move on here, Bill. Okay. Thanks for your call, right. man. Thank Appreciate you. it. Okay. Let's talk to Jim in Colorado. Good morning. Welcome to the Bright Side, Jim. Good morning, boy. I've been trying to get a hold of you for two weeks. I sent you some emails, and they all came back. Uh, ben at KFCO.com? KFCO.com? No, no. K for King. S for Sam. C for cat, O for Oscar. Got it. Is this, is this Big why, Jim? That's why I came back. Are you Big Jim? Okay, I have had PRP for I don't know what you have to tell months. me what that is. I'm just an ignorant pharmacist. Uh, I don't know what PRP is. Yeah, I understand. Uh, Pityriasis, rubra. Okay, I know what that uh, is. Polaris. It's a, skin, okay. it's a serious skin. I know exactly what it is. It's just a fancy I'm way of saying your skin. I'm losing my toenails. I'm losing my uh, fingernails. Uh, uh, That's I'm not miserable. good. I've got it yeah, of from course. my scalp to my feet. Okay, well, hang on here. Let me tell you about this, about the condition, okay? It's very rare, by the way. But anytime you hear pityriasis rubra, you're dealing with uh, with scaly, with red scales, basically. Right. Uh, Polaris means that it has to do with your hair and it has to do with your follicles, PRP. Right. Okay? A pila is Latin for hair. So uh, here's the deal. Your skin's messed up, and your skin is an immune system, uh, immune structure. Okay? Whenever you have a skin problem, you want to first think of the immune system. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Okay. The immune system is your defensive system. When you have a defensive problem and you want to reverse it or you want to address it, you look for an offending agent. This is just logic and common sense. This has nothing to do with doctoring or medicine. When you have an immune problem, you have a defensive problem. If you want to reverse a defensive problem, you look for an offending agent. The most likely offending agent is going to be food. So what you want to do, and you've got to have some food problems too, because the skin is the digestive tract inside out. And whenever there's a skin problem, there is going to be an, a chronic skin problem. There's going to be an associated digestive problem because the tissue is the same. So probably constipation, maybe loose stools, certainly gas bloating are possible. Do you follow me here? Heartburn, anything along those lines. Now, if you don't know where they, uh, if, if you don't know, you I don't have, have to talk. like a BM incontinence problem right now. Well, you're constipated, right? No, I have a, be, uh, a bowel and const incontinence problem. I, I can't really control it really. Okay, all of that. Uh, I, what I'm telling you here is there's something in the digestive tract that you don't need. Doesn't matter the specifics because it's food related. You can't have a digestive problem unless you have unless you're digesting. This is just common sense. You can't right. have a digestive problem unless you're digesting. What are you digesting? Food. So, i.e., you can't have a digestive problem without having a food problem. Do a food diary. I'd be fasting, first of all, for three days. When you fast, you're going to notice that your symptoms start to, slow, start to uh, mitigate. They start to, uh, re you start to get less symptoms. Does that make sense? I want an eight-day juice fast, an eight-day well, juicing fast, organic juicing fast. And, yeah. Uh, Nothing? You know, I have plenty of energy, which I normally don't have with this disease. Okay. But... Uh, uh, I, I didn't. One guy stayed on it for 35 days, and he got over 80% of his symptoms. Oh, I, that's what I'm telling you. Here's what I'm telling you. I, I'm not making this up. You think I'm just pulling this out of my you-know-what? No. I, this is just how no. it works. So here's the thing about the juice fast, though. You can react to juices. That's why I say complete fast. Your juices are not benign, especially if there's sugar okay. in there. 
if it, if it, and all juices are going to have a certain amount of sugar. So juices are not benign. I love veggie juices and I love juice fast, but juices are medicinal and they're loaded with sugar depending on the kind of fruits and veggies you're, you're, uh, you're juicing. So juice fast doesn't count. You got to fast completely. You can do a swear okay. cleanse, but personally, if my condition was as serious as it sounds like yours is, I wouldn't be eating anything for three days. Then when you start to eat again, you want to take very careful notes as to how you feel after you eat those specific foods. And you'll notice that you get digestive symptoms and skin symptoms as you're, uh, 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 depending on the foods you're eating. Some foods will make it worse. Some foods won't make it as bad. At this point, you're probably pretty bad if it's as bad, as I'm severe really as you're bad. describing. Yeah, so you really might re be reacting to a lot of things. That doesn't doesn't matter. You start checking stuff off the list. Simultaneously, start working on gut health. We've been talking about NAG now for a couple of days. Get yourself some NAG supplements. Do bone soup and cartilage, or just do cartilage supplements. Uh, probiotics goes without saying. Probiotics are vital, and find the best one you could find, and also fermented foods. When you start juicing again and getting off your, uh, uh, when you quit your fast and start juicing again, vegetable juices with the fiber, not not juicer juices, but Vitamix or NutriBullet uh, juices that keep the fiber. Focus on digestive health, Jim. This is uh, this so serious. Now, later on, you're going to have to start working with blood sugar because your blood sugar is probably whacked out. Yeah, you may also want to start stabilizing your cortisol by doing slow, deep breathing and relaxing under conditions as distressful as you're describing. Chances are your cortisol is through the roof. So you're going to want to start to calm the body down using mental and emotional strategies as well as deep breathing strategies. Hot water can help if it doesn't aggravate your skin. Uh, immersion in hot tubs and hot showers as long as it doesn't aggravate your skin. The most important point I could tell you, Jim, is you do not have a skin condition. You have an immune condition. You follow me? And that means you, you have, think a, I have a congested liver. Of course it's involved, but you're not going to take your liver out and squeeze it out and, and get rid of the congestion. Everything I'm telling you is going to support liver health. Yes, absolutely. You have a congested liver. Absolutely. And you've probably got fatty can I, liver. Uh, can I do a liver cleanse with you don't oil? bother with it. it. Everything I'm telling you is a liver cleanse. Every okay. fasting is the, the best liver cleanse. There is is fasting. Okay. Right, now if you want, I got. I want to get to a couple more calls. If you want some more information, send me an email. But but I've given you a ton right right there. Please do okay. not regard your problem as a skin condition. Don't waste your money on a dermatologist. It is in the immune system, which well, is lo mostly located in the gut, in the intestine. Yeah, I got the I got the uh, the the you know the prognosis or the diagnosis from a dermatologist, but he wanted to give me all these steroids. Drugs, and I looked at of course the side he did. effects on the internet, I've and I said. I don't blame you. Over a year ago, I, I won't take those drugs. Well, I got, I got to move here, Jim. Send me an email, and I'll get you some more help. Put your phone number in the email. Thank you for your call. Uh, Cosmo, I apologize, buddy. Oh, Coach hey, Cosmo. Hey, hey. I wanted to get you. Hey. Hey, we got the music, though, Coach Cosmo. I know. I know. It's all right. Don't worry. Give out your website. Give everybody your website, Coach Cosmo. All right. Um, I'm in between, but if you want to reach out to me, Coach Cosmo, I'm, I'm down with Ben totally 100%. 908-912-HELP. That's how you reach me. 908-912-HELP. How'd you get that? Good good phone number. Yeah, yeah hey, no, it's great, isn't it? <laughs> Cosmo, I love you, man. Thank you so much for all your help and all your good work, and you're doing you're you, a brother. true, beautiful human being, Coach Cosmo. And I wish we had time to talk, but we're just out of time, brother. I'll call you so, back. Don't worry about it. Thank you. And I apologize to everybody else I left on hold. I hate doing it, but we only get an hour on this program. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side. Check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com and our longevity products at brightsideben.com or pharmacistben.com or criticalhealthnews.com. Have a wonderful, awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.